Sam Bankman went from buying his first Bitcoin to becoming a multi-billionaire. He is the richest 20-something in the world. How exposed are you? Substantial amount of assets that have either been stolen. Illegal. Hey Sam, what do you think about the market today? Where did Alameda come from? Video actually of you and you were trading some 7,000 uh, Bitcoin sell that came through on Binance. Started up Alameda Research, which is a quantitative trading firm in crypto. It does, you know, basically a combination of sort of arbitrage based trading, quantitative strategies. You have to manage the risk of the accounts. And we'd seen a lot of high profile failures and hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost to this. We saw a lot of the pieces coming together, integrating with APIs, knew what the major pain points were. We had the liquidity. Your mandate is to say market neutral. So it's, um, uh, the basic answer is that our mandate is to stay close to market neutral. What boundaries exist? Alameda and, and FTX. One end of this debate say it's de facto unethical. Uh, FTX is a you know standard public two-way platform that anyone can trade on against anyone else. As it happens right now, Alameda is on the other side of a lot of trades. Even from day one, this is one of the most liquid products in crypto. Right now, FTX is trading something like $200 million a day. I think we got up to five or $600 million. I think in 2019, Sam and I actually talked about starting, uh, potentially collaborating on futures exchange together. We actually ended up investing in FTX. And Wait, so you're the first investors in FTX? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're trading about a billion dollars a day worldwide. have a fantastic trading business with Alameda. You've got a fantastic exchange business with FTX. What the hell are you doing playing around with all this right. DeFi stuff? <laughs> The ecosystem grows a lot and the standard that you have to hold yourself to to be competitive grows a lot. The keys were dropped on me, but it meant to be the community's project. I think one of the most interesting parts about your story is uh, this idea of how do I make as much money to give it all away? So good you can do now, and I think that there's a lot of value to at least giving something away to keep yourself honest. What is Sam Bankman Fried doing in five years from now? I mean, FTX in particular, I don't foresee myself taking the gas off of anytime soon. It's official, the home of the Miami Heat is now FTX Arena. The name will stick around for the next 19 years. I wouldn't say that it's gone fully mainstream, but it, it started to make real steps in that direction. For FTX to reach its potential, it needs to be able to stand on its own as a product, and it can now. Winningest QB in NFL history is pro Bitcoin. What's up, guys? I'm here with my boy Sam from FTX. I think over the next couple of months, uh, there's going to be, you know, I would be surprised if there weren't at least one more thing coming up. I think FTX is at the fore of all that. And why wouldn't I want to be associated with a player like that? Every major finance firm is talking about crypto now. Yeah, we don't really do any uh, technical analysis. Yeah, absolutely could pull it off without my math degree. <laughs> Use very little math. We don't want to see regulation as a thing that staples our business or the industry. There's a lot of work to be done to really protect the investing public. What if there is a trillion dollar stable coin with only a billion dollars actually backing it? What else could Bankman Freed have up his sleeve? Are you out of your mind? How did you do this so quickly? I mean, your company is two years old. Do you have a sense of how much you've given away so far? It's a bit north of 100 million so far. Managing billions in assets to filing for bankruptcy. Terra has had a painful week. The latest crypto firm to suspend withdrawals. Liquidated 
some positions. Forced liquidation of Three Arrows Capital. Warned that a crypto winter is coming. It's not going to be good for anyone long term if we have real pain, real blowouts. Sam Bankman Freed is really becoming the industry's lifeline. FTX, which is set to buy crypto lender BlockFi. Situation at Voyager, you've gone in to pick up those assets. Stopping contagion from spreading through the ecosystem, right? Do you still have enough cash if you needed to do another bailout? We had a couple billion going into the into this. The savior, the Michael Jordan. JP Morgan. JP Morgan. JP Morgan. JP Morgan of yep. crypto. Over the weekend, speculation rose about the solvency of FTX. The head of rival exchange Binance saying his firm would liquidate its holdings of that token, citing recent revelations. Investors have withdrawn Bitcoin en masse, bringing the crypto exchange's balance to essentially zero. Binance strikes a mega deal to buy the non-U.S. division of FTX. The same fears we saw with crypto markets in the spring yeah. now coming to roost with Sam Bankman. The opaque nature of this Binance's Sam Bankman Freed is, I find, disconcerting. FTX was hoping that Binance could rescue it from the crisis. This the Lehman moment for crypto. Executives knew that FTX had lent its customers money to Alameda. More than $370 million worth of crypto funds appeared to be missing. I don't think that guy has a, an evil bone in his body. A series of cryptic tweets spelled out the words, what happened? This is so weird. Strange behavior for someone who seems to have lost money for so many people. Brady, Giselle Boonchin, Steph Curry, Larry David, Naomi Osaka, and the Shark Tank's Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary, just some of the well-known figures named in the suit. The latest fallout from FTX, Genesis saying that it's now pausing new loan originations. BlockFi has filed for bankruptcy. It comes just weeks after the collapse of FTX. The fallout has led other companies to tout their reserves. Crypto is a garden of snakes. And that's not to say everybody in crypto is right. untrustworthy. Sam Bankman-Fried joins us right now live from the Bahamas. I think I have a duty to talk to people. I have a duty to explain what happened. People lost a lot of money. There's a question of what happened and why and who did what. I've reflected a lot on like people that were hurt by this and on what I can do to making part of it up. A lot of people look at you and see Bernie Madoff. Yeah. Banking Freed arrested in the Bahamas. Authorities filed criminal charges. Fraud across eight counts. Has denied his application for bail. 